Uh, this topic is about the uh, failure. So we have these uh, learning objectives. Uh, firstly, describe the mechanism of crack propagation for both ductile and brittle modes of fracture. Learning objective: Define fracture toughness in terms of uh, a brief statement and an equation, and then define all parameters in this equation. Uh, and then there are some more learning objectives. So we will look at those one by one. Uh, remember that in this topic we will uh, first look at the two types of failures, brittle and ductile failure. Uh, then we will learn about the uh, fracture toughness. And then uh, three types of uh, uh, failure mechanisms or the reasons for the failure one is due to the impact load the other is due to the fatigue load and the third one is about the uh, creep so this chapter starts with this uh, with these uh, uh, figures so depicting different types of uh, failure for in this case uh, we can use the failure a mechanism for our uh, advantage that means uh, uh, in this uh, wrapper for some item uh, a slit has been introduced so this uh, slit uh, for, is for uh, easily uh, opening up this uh, wrapper if this slit is not there then it will be very difficult to uh, open this wrapper basically this uh, slip introduces uh, a kind of uh, pre-crack which can be easily uh, propagated. So this is one of the principle of the crack propagation that an initial crack then propagates to much uh, larger uh, thing which, uh, introduce, which introduces the failure or breakage into the material. Okay, so the second picture is about uh, the uh, breakage of a ship and I mean this is quite an old picture and then this type of accident happened uh, like maybe more than 100 years ago so at that time this ship was designed uh, uh, with the material uh, which was uh, quite ductile at normal temperatures but it was not as investigated at that time that this material will be will remain uh, ductile at very low temperatures as well so what happened was that one day this ship was docked at some bay where the temperature was quite low I mean somewhere were like freezing temperature so at that freezing temperature the material which was used for the ship became brittle and uh, due to some slight overstressing uh, the brittle material suddenly uh, broken down and then as you can see that this ship has uh, broken down into two pieces so a lesson was a lesson was learned that uh, at uh, uh, lower temperatures when the temperature is lower the material becomes brittle uh, next picture is about uh, this picture is about the failure uh, of the of this front fuselage part of this uh, airplane uh, this incident happened in 1988 uh, <coughs> uh, in an airline aloha airline uh, in the usa state of hawaii uh, and then this uh, failure was uh, uh, attributed to the fatigue effect okay so that means uh, a long application of re long and repeated application of the loading uh, on that part and then since uh, the maintenance mechanism at that time was uh, not very uh, particular about this kind of uh, failure detection so therefore, eventually this type of failure happened due to decompression and then uh, some of the loss uh, happened uh, to this uh, airplane. So this is about the, uh, this is one of the example for the uh, fatigue failure. Okay, so next we will uh, learn about uh, the main topic uh, which is uh, uh, talking about the failure in this, uh, um, failure in the materials. Yeah. So failure in the material happens in the form of the fracture and the fracture is basically the breaking of the material 
into different parts at least two parts okay so the breaking of the material into two parts ha can happen due to many reasons one of the basic reason is uh, is the application of the force so as it is uh, written in this chapter that failure can take place and we have also learned about this in the mechanical properties part that the failure can be of two types ductile and the brittle so that ductile in the ductile failure there are three characteristics slow crack propagation accompanied significant plastic deformation and the uh, failure with the warning and the opposite is true for the brittle failure so due to this uh, due to this three uh, comparison due to this quick comparison we can simply conclude that ductile failure is uh, the more desirable failure if any if at all failure is allowed in a specimen or if at all the failure happens in a specimen or in a material or in a structure uh, ductile failure is the preferable failure and it is a, a safer choice okay see uh, then we can see about the uh, uh, different fracture profiles so three types of fracture profiles are given two profiles on this left side are about the uh, very ductile and uh, uh, moderately ductile materials and the, th the, the this one on the right side is for the uh, brittle uh, failure so as you can see that in a very ductile material which is uh, not very common i mean uh, and uh, we don't have much engineering applications for that as well uh, for the example is like a pure gold so pure gold is relatively quite soft so then when that gold is uh, uh, pulled in tension then this kind of failure hap can happen and in this case you can see that uh, uh, the uh, breaking face becomes quite thin and then it's uh, in the end it comes it becomes like it is like a point failure rather than a surface failure so there is a lot of uh, necking in this case lacking to the extent that the uh, final surface is like uh, is very nearly like a point uh, but for most of the cases for the for most of the ductile materials and alloys such, such as in uh, such as the mild steel or copper you get this uh, kind of failure in this case some necking of the uh, failure surface takes place uh, not not rather uh, some but quite appreciable but not to the to that extent where the failure is very ductile and uh, there is a, in addition there is a, a failure surface as well in addition to the necking and then uh, this also this is also accompanied with the a lot of uh, deformation along the uh, uh, direction of the uh, force as well and uh, we will look at this uh, type of failure a little bit more detail later on and also if in but on the schematically if you see that a pure brittle failure will have no necking okay so there will be simply a rupture at the uh, failure uh, surface so uh, these are the uh, two examples two, two pictures of the failed specimens so uh, the in this is the ductile one so it is called as the cup and cone fracture so cup and cone fracture is a type of ductile failure in this case as you can see that one part of the failed surface is in the form of a cup the other far, part is in the form of a cone so a ductile uh, a cup and cone fracture is a type of a ductile failure and then if you can see that over here in the case of brittle fracture so it is a totally brittle failure and you can see it as a kind of a flat surface whereas uh, the surface is quite uh, you will also see uh, the surface will be quite grainy as well so and there is uh, you can say that no necking uh, as it was in the case of the ductile failure uh, so in more detail for the ductile failure you can see that it starts from the necking then there are some uh, minor cracks happening in the uh, at the necking area and then these minor cracks becomes relatively bigger when they are combined together then these crack cracks pro propagate uh, to the outer surface and when at the failure point these cracks uh, tilt at, at an angle of 45 degree with the uh, with the direction of the load 
so this 45 degree angle uh, angle is significant for the uh, maximum uh, shear stress it is corresponding to the maximum shear stress and then along this maximum shear stress surface uh, the uh, fracture takes place because this uh, tensile load is uh, translated into the resolved uh, shear uh, stress also you can see that uh, in the micrographically pictures you can see that there are some uh, nucleation uh, sites over here and then uh, for a cup and cone fracture surface so electron micrographs for the fracture surfaces uh, um, are corresponding to that so for example this micrograph surface may be correspond to this type of uh, vo void nucleation and then this is the final uh, uh, fractured surface in the case of uh, micrograph. Uh, next you have is uh, the uh, uh, fractograph. So fractographs are basically the uh, SEM images for the fractured surfaces. So two types of uh, uh, fractured surfaces in the case of the ductile material can be you can observe. So one is like this in the case uh, in this case the, you can see some spherical dimples, spherical surfaces. This is for the inner uh, fracture, inner part of the fractured surfaces. At the outer layers of the fractured surfaces, you, you will you may have some elongated uh, parabolic uh, shaped dimples. Okay, uh, this is due to the uh, shear uh, loading along the along those uh, areas in the uh, fractured surface. And then let's have quickly about the brittle failures. In the brittle failure is the uh, in the brittle failure you can see some v-shaped uh, uh, markings okay on the fractured surfaces and uh, these v-shaped markings are also called as the chevron markings so the, the, the meaning is same chevron is also is a name for the v-shaped markings so these v-shaped markings originate at this point where it is shown by the arrow over here and the other types of uh, brittle failure is about uh, in uh, is about uh, this type of uh, micrograph in which there are some radial markings so uh, the crack is originating at this point over here and then from here in the different radial directions the uh, crack is uh, propagating okay so uh, photographs and then last two slides in this uh, clip is the art about the photographs for the brittle uh, micro uh, structure so brittle micro structure uh, sorry brittle fracture can be of two types one is the transgranular crack propagation in the transgranular crack propagation uh, these um, cracks propagate through the grains okay Tra through the grains okay and uh, the other one is the uh, intergranular crack propagation in the intergranular crack propagation the cracks uh, propagate along the edges of the grain okay so this type of uh, 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 crack propagation along the edges of the grain um, happens in those cases where the intergranular for, uh, forces have become uh, weakened due to some uh, prior uh, actions or uh, forces or at some of the uh, processing on the uh, materials so these are this is, these are two types of uh, fractured uh, surfaces uh, transgranular and intergranular okay uh, so uh, this was about the uh, types of uh, failures brittle and the duct failures in the next uh, we will consider about uh, we, in the next uh, clip video clip i will present about the uh, some of the basic principles of the fracture mechanics and uh, some basic uh, calculations needed for the uh, fracture uh, toughness.